feeling super uninspired. I was working a lot before the holidays and my work is super informal. So I was wearing casual clothes and then Christmas and like, I felt like I was sort of putting together things that I knew worked and that were easy and just felt kind of unoriginal to me. I do kind of hear a lot of the like fast fashion influences and voices because I'm on social media and I was realizing some stuff that I enjoy just from my authentic style that kind of falls into like the more ethereal, vintage -y. That is blowing up right now. I knew it was gonna blow up, but it feels so big. Part of me wants to buy some of this stuff, but at the same time, like, it just feels too easy and it feels too uninspired, like, to wear a painting. So I've been challenging myself to like kind of broaden my horizons and stretch myself to the ends of like kind of what fits in my style and just experiment a little. I have been going back to the runways to find inspiration and looking at really old shows kind of like timelessly what appeals to me and what is inspiring. While it still definitely falls into this like vintage -y, ethereal type of style, um, I feel a little bit more inspired. I feel a little bit more challenged. I have some fresh ideas for myself and some fresh combinations of things that are a little more nuanced that you wouldn't always like think about being together. There's something about her that is so like striking and ethereal, but also a little bit scary, but also vintage at the same time. So I have my like happy, fun, spring ethereal stuff going on. And then I have my like alter ego. And she is like what I want my alter ego style to be. Cause there's days that I don't always feel light and airy and happy. And especially in winter. Winter is the perfect time to like Find inspiration of your style that's a little bit moodier. I love I love how she pulls the vintage elements into it. It feels timeless and classic, but also striking. This version of vintage -y stuff, like especially with hair, never really looked right on me, and I didn't like how it I just didn't like how it looked on me. My thing that I'm trying to not necessarily right now, but like just try out is this like off-duty vintage look. So more of like the 90s mom. So instead of like tight vintage goes more of just like off-duty. Yeah, I'm still working with it, I'm still learning. So I thought it would be a little bit more interesting than just 
long traditional ethereal hair. I am starting to recognize some of the more um, striking parts of myself. Like just with, you know, how your body changes as you get older. I'm in my 20s, but like as just not being a child anymore, your face looking different and your body looking different. Um, I'm starting to try to like incorporate some of more of the grown-up striking elements into my wardrobe and accept like I can pull off stronger, more intense looks than I think I can. Her shows really are kind of that drama that I'm looking for. When I'm trying to create a look that is a little bit more moody ethereal. I don't actually think I need to find my best colors. And that's something I've also been realizing, like sometimes when you're creating a certain mood, you're not necessarily always going to want to find your best colors. And that's a little bit challenging for me to step out of because there's perfectionism there. Think about Little J and Gossip Girl, okay? When she's in her like very grungy phase, phase and the actual like real life actress that plays her, her style is very grungy. And it's not because black is her best color. It's because the mood and style she's creating, whenever she contrasts that with her very light, light features, it creates a intensity. While I'm not really looking to overhaul my style and completely change myself and go all goth, wearing colors that are my softest colors that kind of wash me out ever so slightly. I can create a cooler, more wintry feel. Luisa Beccaria's show is also this very, very, very traditional feminine romantic feel, but it's that like kind of off-putting etherealness and it's like, you know what? You know what? When I'm not feeling my best, when I don't want to be all happy, ethereal, feminine, romantic, having that off-putting ethereal alter ego is great and that is another part of style that I can play with. So. That's kind of been what I've been inspired by using a lot more muted blues and a lot more um, muted versions of my best colors and like lots of whites and grays. If I want to do an outfit that using black or gray makes sense in as a part of the outfit, what I do is I just don't put it near my face. I put it as like a legging or a boot or a bag so that I can bring that element in and create more of a certain feel or mood, but ne not necessarily like have it very starkly against my face. I've just been experimenting with combining textures and patterns, but keeping it light. And um, that's difficult to do when you have limited wardrobe. So there's like definitely a waiting period, but when you get a, get a, get a vision for it, it's a lot easier to look for stuff. I, the other thing that I've been inspired by lately is the 1990s <laughs> on runway shows. The Uliana Sargento vibe, even a little bit of the Luisa Beccaria vibe that's like right Right now it's very reminiscent of some of the like feminine ethereal vibes that were in the 90s. There's definitely a lot of stuff happening that's being inspired by the 70s right now. Also I think the 90s are actually influencing us more than we're talking about especially with this like more redundancy inspired style, more ethereal st inspired style and when you look at the 1990s it's like oh yeah, the stuff that I saw on the runway that I thought was like original and gorgeous and inspiring was obviously inspired by this time when I see my style done or my style become trendy. Um, I see that people tend to do it in a certain way. Going back into the Vogue runway archives has really shown me like what actually my style is and what is slightly different about it versus what I'm seeing now being trendy. And I think the very, very highly textured, intricate, and slightly moody stuff of the 1990s, more ethereal stuff, is very much my style compared to some of more of this like minimalist stuff. Eclectic maximalism when it comes to style is not me and sometimes I try to like take inspiration from it and pull it into my style. One reason I haven't been making videos is because I'm actually learning a lot and making a lot of mistakes and I think I'm realizing a lot more about textures and patterns and how they work together and like how to keep your palette light. When I try to take inspiration from styles that are way more eclectic than mine, that use like combinations of colors that can be like 
really good but have that like off-putting feel to them so think like how Prada combines some of their colors um just a little bit more edgy a little more eclectic a little more cool lately with experimenting with trying to take inspiration from things that I find amazing and beautiful and it ends up not having the same effect because it doesn't belong in my style and then it creates something else that's totally not my style at all talking about this stuff is one thing showing you guys is a whole other thing i don't want this to be a space for only people who know a lot about fashion like i want this to be a space that is for people who want to f apply really fun cool styles to their practical life please comment and tell me what you've been inspired by and like how your style is stretching or how you're challenging yourself 